time to play Shadows next. Nope, because Ubisoft has delayed Assassin's Creed Shadows from November 15th, 2024 to February 14th of 2025. Reasons for this, according to them, the game is not in the state where they are fine releasing it and that resonates with the sales and player feedback from Star Wars Outlaws which actually underperformed with sales numbers and player experiences. It seems like Ubisoft is now focusing on fixing and polishing up the Assassin's Creed Shadows and not releasing it in the same state as Outlaws was. Filled with bugs, whatever, them being minor or game breaking and unpolished graphics. This actually may be fantastic for Shadows if Ubisoft is actually doing exactly what they are telling us. I personally was eagerly waiting to play Assassin's Creed Shadows this year but I still prefer finished and polished game even if it's few months later over unpolished bugfest to be honest. Many of you have pointed out in my comments in my previous videos about Assassin's Creed Shadows how combat animations for example look clunky and unfinished and definitely I can't argue with that. But to be fair, the gameplay, what we have seen so far, has been really rough, unpolished version months and months way before the original release date, which was 15th of November. But yeah, anybody with eyes did definitely point out it looked unfinished, nothing new and clunky at best. To me, it actually looked pretty good what it was, considering it wasn't the final version of the game. The raw gameplay footage was pretty okay in my opinion. But hopefully this extra time will give Ubisoft enough time to fix up the game so it can be as smooth and polished and in mint condition upon its release in February 14th. Furthermore, all except Collector's Edition pre-orders have been cancelled and my source for that is PlayStation Store and Raptor. The game is also launching on Steam on day one and not just Ubisoft Connect, which is actually pretty awesome news, more players can play it. And Ubisoft has announced that they are scrapping the season pass model that they have been using. All future Assassin's Creed Shadow pre-orders will now include the first expansion for free. So that is pretty amazing. Also any future DLCs will be sold separately, probably costing around 20 to 30 bucks each and oh also the three day early access model in the editions like gold edition ultimate edition previously that has been thrown into the bin as well so yeah everybody can start playing at the same time which is fantastic in my opinion that is at least for async root shadows but who knows who knows about upcoming games only time will tell with all of these changes does this mean that they are getting rid of Yasuke? And the answer is simple, no, because simply three extra months working on the game, it is not enough time to pretty much rewrite the whole game, recording voiceovers, hiring new voice actors, trading and putting up the pieces animations. For anyone who had their hopes up, Yasuke would be history, but I'm tsh, pun intended, with this pushback announcement, this may come as a shock, but no, simply because there is not enough time to do so, so quick and simple answer, Yubi doesn't have enough time to add Japanese male character on launch, so on launch we still will have Yasuke and Naoe as our dual protagonists, even with this extra 3 months to work on the game I'm still expecting minor bugs here and there, but hopefully none of the game breaking ones like we have recently seen with other games. Excellent example of this was Star Wars Outlaws early access players who lost their save files from anywhere from a couple hours to 20 hours. So yeah, hopefully none of that will happen with shadows, fingers crossed. What does this mean for players? Well, my guess is that in the future we won't have multiple different editions for the games, hopefully. Instead, we will have two editions to the games from Ubisoft, the base game and the collector's edition as it should be in my opinion. 
also if the season pass model really is history and if early access with the editions is completely removed from the picture then there isn't much that would justify plus 100 dollars or euros for the editions in my opinion or what do you think let me know in the comments down below and while you are leaving your comments hit the like button that would really help me and the channel out did you leave the comment and like already good thank you so let's continue in summary Asin Good Shadows is delayed by three months from November to February 2025. The game will be in better condition on launch, hopefully. Gold and Ultimate Editions are gone. The first expansion will be free for upcoming pre-orders. My estimate is that it is worth around $20, so definitely good pre-order bonus basically. If you are planning to pre-order the game, I would highly recommend waiting until January or as close of launch as possible just to make sure that nothing happens further with the game. Also, there are no changes to the main characters of the game and personally I am still excited about AG Shadows and I will be playing it on launch. I also really hope that Changes are made in the Helix store, in-game store as well, in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. The packs were mainly costing around $20 per pack, including armor sets, weapons and mounts. So definitely that needs to be worked on as well. Personally, I would be fine buying 5 max 10 bucks per pack every now and then, no problems. But 20 it is just way too much. Especially if the things are like in Valhalla, huge inventory of items behind ridiculously huge paywall. That isn't for me. How about you guys? Also, I'm not taking part of the speculation why the game has been delayed or any other controversy in that matter, because it is just that speculation, thin fall hat theories. We can do that in the comment section if you guys want, but I ask you to be mature about it. So any conversation within the reason is welcome. For example, what isn't a tinfoil hat theory is that Ubisoft stock prices, well, they have been much better in 2018. The stock prices, they were anywhere from 80 to 100 euros per stock. And today it is barely 10 euros. What do you think this means for Ubisoft? Let me know. For the end of this video, I want to give you a quick advice. If you don't like it, don't buy it. Vote with your wallet. And thus, Scott thanks and acknowledges. See you in the comments. To being allies then.